Hey guys, Crystal Thompson here from Winnie Walter. I'm so excited to show you this quick tutorial using some ink and inks for watercolor. For this tutorial, you are going to need the following Winnie Walter stamp sets. We're going to be using the Winnie and Walter Mini Scenery Bed of Roses. So you're going to need some white uh, watercolor cardstock. For our die cutting, we're going to be using the bottom of my heart cutaways. And we're going to need three of the hearts. And for the sentiment, we're going to use the You Are Loved from the Happy Dance with Evelyn T designs. So you're gonna need some silver embossing or silver sequins. Then we need three colors, aqua teeny and violet and the party. These are available on the Weenie and Walter shop. So to get started, we are gonna come in with our watercolor cardstock. And I have previously die cut um, three of the hearts from the cutaways. Then, using the Bed of Roses, we're going to place this on our acrylic block. And the last one that I hadn't done was Sweet 16. So we're going to ink up the, the stamp with the Sweet 16. We're going to stamp that directly to our die cut heart. And these die cut hearts are from just Nina cardstock. And you can see you have a gorgeous heart stamp set. So I have the three of them, as I had mentioned. Then on our watercolor paper, and it's important that you use watercolor paper because we're going to add a lot of water to this. We're going to begin by stamping the sentiment you are loved right at the bottom left corner. And I want to be sure that when you are doing your uh, water droplets is that you're doing the lightest color over the sentiment. That way it doesn't get lost. Now we're going to be doing some watercolor with our inks. We're going to stamp the ink pad onto our acrylic block. Then with the water brush, we're going to grab it, we're going to brush it down, and then for the last step, we're going to add it at the top, drip it with a lot of water, and then splatter it. We're going to come in with a baby, baby wipe or paper towel, clean off the excess off the brush and off the acrylic block, and move on to our next color. We're going to be using Sweet 16, which is a very light lilac, and like I had mentioned, you want to do the lightest color over your sentiment, and that way you don't lose the sentiment. Your black ink pad for your sentiment should be something that is not water-based, so it doesn't run. And we're going to do the same effect, doing some brushing of the color and then um, having it drip down. I'm going to come in with a paper towel and really absorb all the leftover uh, blue and purple. Now we're going to come in with the party dress, and this is such a bright color, I didn't need to stamp too much of it. Add some water from the water brush create the pigment water and then grab it and brush it down and flicker it. You can let it sit here for a couple minutes or you can uh, kind of help it along dabbing it with a paper towel and then continuing to layer. So you can do it either way. I'm going to let it dry for just a little bit and then I have my matching die cut hearts with the stamps. I'm going to come in with foam adhesive and this is just regular two-sided foam. We are going to cut a long strip and then fold it over. This top, top, top heart is going to have double layers of foam. We're going to continue with single layers of foam on the other hearts, and that way you have variances in dimension and height on both of these hearts. Okay, for our finishing touch, we are going to come in with the silver sequins. So, we're going to add the liquid glue that dries clear first, and then we're going to come in with the silver sequins and adding those to the card. If you don't have silver jewels or silver sequins, you can certainly use white or pearl. I don't think you could go wrong with this color combination. I really like the tone on tone stamping with watercoloring. Thank you so much for joining me today on this easy card using Weenie and Walter products. Be sure to stick around. There are a lot more tutorials. And if you want some more inspiration, head on over to the Weenie and Walter blog. Thank you so much. Have a great day.